Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I want you to put your hands together. There goes the neighborhood. And welcome him to the stage. Big round of applause. There goes the neighborhood. All right. Welcome to the Smokescreen Podcast, episode 73. You're um, born. Oh, damn. That's right. You old as shit. You I 50. am. I'm not quite there yet. Damn it. Um, yeah, episode 73. Uh, the last episode, the series finale, I'm sorry, season finale yeah, no. of House of the Dragon for James here. So he's got a, he's going to be called up after this. Excited and sad. Yeah. But you got it's coming soon. I think they. I think it is actually June now. I think so it is. I, I think we only got four or five months. Well, that'd be four, wouldn't it? Um, but I'll I'll check into that. I'm not 100 percent sure, but yeah. Um, you got to watch Shogun though. You got to check I out do. Shogun. Yeah, it's I only going to be a you know ten episodes mini series because it'll they'll cover the whole book. Are they hour long episodes? Yeah. Okay. It, it's it's so good, and uh, the videos are doing really good. You saw I showed I, you. I know they uh, they blew up. Uh, that was pretty cool, because we hadn't seen numbers like that since our, uh, I guess, uh, making a murderer podcast. I know, convicting a murderer podcast with Brenda and all that good stuff. But we're big in Japan. Yes, that, apparently. I think that's what it is. <laughs> we got some fans. Um. Anyway, so what's been going on before we jump into this? We good? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I, the house. I always That's have what to I was give an update. I was going to ask you on um, camera, yeah. Okay, so I went to the realtor's office the other day, and they said I can feel comfortable telling people that I am buying my house. There you go. So do you and have an actual date? They said um, it's it's with the underwriter. Sh should take about a week, and when when they're done, I'll get a closing date. Right. And... uh so that's where we're at. How long has that been since they said that? A few days. Uh, Friday. Okay. So yeah. All and, right. Oh, cool, man. and I told you I saw people out there in a well drilling truck. Yes. One time, uh, that was them over there. They were getting estimates. They got an estimate from them and another person. Right. And gotcha. so they're trying to find they're the handling cheapest, all that. The cheapest. Yeah. And got you. Um. So I I may end up with some money out of the deal. They said that um, the way it's written up, that they put uh, twenty grand aside for the well, right? And because that was the contingency is getting your own mm -hmm. versus the I guess the landowners people. And they said whatever's left after the well's installed, I can spend however I want. That's right. So instant equity. I'm excited, yeah, man. man. I'll get maybe get a little cash back. Yeah. You know, or you could dump it right back into the house and build Pump more. The house. Huh? <laughs> what was that? What did you say? I didn't I caught house. I didn't get the word before. That. I said, fuck the house. <laughs> no, it's Damn. the biggest thing going on in my life. No, no that's I, cool, I would man. like to dump it back into the house. No, that's that's that good. Really cool. Yeah. And that's the that's the great thing about like when when it's time to like okay I'm gonna redo the kitchen mm -hmm. you're gonna that value is gonna go up ten thousand dollars automatically man or you add a deck something built onto it or you remodel the bathroom put some yes. tile down all that shit yeah. so it's all it's all an investment at that point that's the great thing about owning a damn house and then you got something to get loans if you need a loan all you know yeah. out of the blue or a car or whatever you got you got power then you get more power essentially and. It's something to, you know, leave your kids, grandkids. Yeah. It's pretty cool feeling. So I know uh, people my age group, typically, this isn't, you know, this is old news, old emotions. They've experienced them a long time ago. But I'm going to tell you, when I left that office Friday, after she said, mm -hmm. feel comfortable telling people. Yeah. No more worrying. Um I was giggly. I mean, no, I, I, you know, I, did. I really felt giddy, and uh, it's just wow. It was, I remember, it was hey, night. you know, the old house where you stayed for a while. I, I watched that thing get built. That was my first purchase of a house, and I was a assistant manager at Pizza, and I remember 
talking to the dude, he's like, can I afford it? He's like, yeah, you absolutely can afford it. You should buy as soon as possible. I'm like, sweet. And it, I know, I remember the feeling, man. Yeah. And back then it was, even though I hate, I hated it, the, you know, before I moved, I fucking hated it being a Cracker Box. When I moved in, though, it was the coolest thing ever. Damn Like, right. it was, like, brand new. Oh, and then they yeah. had that little, um, like, the chair, it's not actual chair rail, and they just had the cheap-ass Walmart <laughs> Oh like yeah, in Ivy, mm-hmm. the Ivy, and I thought that was so cool in, two, was in the year cool, nineteen ninety nine or two thousand, whatever it was. But yeah. <laughs> that was that was a nice place, and um, a lot of fond memories over there too. Oh yeah, absolutely. That that's another thing about owning a place and keeping it for a substantial period yeah. of time is the memories and the, and those bookmarks <laughs> in your mind. Right when my kids and uh, when Brielle looks back years from now that's right they're gonna take place there yeah because every every little cool story starts out you remember back at the old place or this place they do they all start that way so well we ate some damn uh hamburger helper in that house (laughs) some pintos Pintos. hell yeah i got some pintos downstairs i should have did them today i actually went to the grocery store by the way i got food to cook Damn, I just got all meat because I ain't no more shit either. I like, saw your rice cooker on the counter. Yeah, I've had that. I've had that. You know, I gotta, I gotta have rice now, about almost daily. <laughs> That's a good thing. Man. Yeah, I mean, there's no. It's very. It's a lot. Uh, you know, jasmine, white rice. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's a that's lot fewer calories than I thought in carbs. I mean, I guess carbs, but calories. Anyway, all right, you ready? Mm-hmm. House of the Dragon. Episode 10, The Black Queen. I thought it was named The Black Council for some reason. So, quick recap before we watch the recap for for, for audio people. Yeah. Um, the king is dead. He is. The only thing holding all this shit together, the king is dead. And, of course, the big thing was he still thinks he's talking to Rhaenyra at the end of the episode uh, after she had questioned him before about, do you really think the whole Song of Ice and Fires, is it real? <laughs> and then they have the Last Supper. He had he takes off the mask, you know, obviously, and shows him his real face and so powerful. At what the leprosy has done. Because I think they never actually say that, but that's what it is. Okay. Um, yeah. Now that he's dead, we can say that because yeah. it was different in the books. It wasn't that long term thing. It was sudden. But oh, really? Yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't say sudden. There was, there was certainly symptoms that if you read the book, you'd know what it was in modern terms. Um, so slightly different there, but anyway. So Last Supper, then she, she, you know, Allison goes to him right before he dies, his dying breast, basically, and he says like, uh, yeah, you know, mentions Aegon, and she thinks he's talking about their son Aegon, and he mentions Ice and Fire, and she took it as, you know, he wants Aegon to be king after all this, um, and then of course the best scene in the history of all this with him going to the throne. Hell yeah. Walking on his own power. Last time, Damon helps him up on the throne. And then Vaymon has to run his mouth, man. <laughs> I like Vaymon, but he said what he said. And uh, he kept his tongue. <laughs> that's for sure. Yes, indeed. <laughs> anyway, that's that's about the essence of it. So that set up the um, the Green Council, and they had their first meeting. And here we go. All the scheming and plotting comes right out in the open. Yes, it does. And... Christian Cole, he killed somebody else. Yeah, he kills Beesbury on the right there. The only one objecting to all this bullshit in the, in the council meeting. And then they had held Rainey's basically captive in her own room, but she gets yeah. out with Sir Eric, takes him to takes her to the dragon pit, and she kind of slips downstairs where her dragon Maylees awaits. And she uh, gets out, and guess where she's heading? We're gonna you find damn, out. You know damn well. We're gonna find out right now. So here we go. Pop up this. Uh, last oh, week on and the feet. Oh yes, Allison's feet. Woof. I know you've been thinking about Allison's feet. Yes, I have. Oh. <laughs> That's just a marker for editing. It works though. <laughs> yeah, let's get this war started. Man, I know. (laughs) Yeah, I wanted to show off the the pop. 
podcast chair here, but I'm so fucking swole right now, man. What's that? I want to show off the podcast chair here, but I'm so swole. <laughs> I feel like I swallowed a fucking watermelon. I hate Ooh. it, too. I don't know what the hell bloated me. I'm retaining water. <laughs> Are you now? <laughs> I guess. It's probably menopause. It is. <laughs> no doubt. Oh, I heard that the uh, Jon Snow thing's on hold for now. The sequel. Damn it. The potential sequel. I don't. I don't think they're going to do it. At least for now, it's not shut down, but it's not moving forward. That's what I'm understanding. <clears throat> I miss. Winter fell in the wall. Mm hmm. You'd have definitely saw that on damn sequel. This is cool, man. You remember this table from before? Hell yeah. We never got to see it used properly. I mean, they used it, but. Sailor who ever lived. I get green sick before the ship even leaves the harbor. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Lawrence. That could have been Kristen Cole still, but no. We hoped for news of Lord Corliss's recovery. Viserys is dead. <laughs> she don't fuck around. I grieve this loss with you, Renee. Possessed a kind heart. Yes, he did. Yeah. There is more. You damn right. <laughs> yeah. Sasa. <laughs> Shit. This is not a good time. Oh, hell no. <laughs> good acting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he ain't dealing with that shit again. <laughs> myself and a firm Lord Tully support. There will be no such thing. Oh. So I'm presenting you with a choice. <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the way to do it. That's right. <laughs> Was it the form? I don't. I don't think so. I was trying to remember if it. The head looked. Yeah, if it was a dragon thing going on, because I, it was, I think, what they're implying. Yeah. Remember how Danny said that Rago was going to be had had wings and shit. Yep. Yeah. I, I, that crossed my mind when she kept having those yeah. visions. I was trying to look, see if it had scaly skin. I couldn't tell, though. The head sure looked weird. It did. Elongated or something. That's terrible. Lose your, find out your dad's gone, and then yeah. boom. Immediately into that. Brought her dad's crown. That's too fucking cool, man. My queen. 
That about makes you emotional, don't it? It does. And you see Damon, like he's yeah. how serious he is about this. Yeah. And her made those other two swear again to her and Jaceris. <laughs> what you gonna do, Rainies? <clears throat> That's fucking cool. Damn. Damn right. Danny never used it quite like that. No. I have declarations from Kelty Gar and Staunton. Massey, Darkin, Bademont. Kelty Gar is the only other house that are Valyrian. Okay. But they didn't show them. Had yet. a close against their own king. River Run was always a close friend to your father, your grace. Your West, surround King's Landing with the dragons, and we could have every green head mounted on spikes before the fucking moon turned. <laughs> <laughs> He's got this shit for a long galleon flying a banner of a three headed green dragon. Alert the watchtowers. Oh, the, the green side. dragon. That's. Yeah, Aegon changes his to green, his little sigil. No way, that's auto. <laughs> I don't know why you're here, dude. Fields and cups. From your drunken usurper, come to the king. <laughs> <laughs> he wears the conqueror's crown, wields the conqueror's sword, has the conqueror's name. that that fast For, you don't have to the first episode oh and it's page tour else yep. yeah the realm can <coughs> she can have her answer now stuck in her father's mouth along with his withered cock <laughs> <laughs> so eric bring me lord hightower so i may take the pleasure myself Uh, I don't know if that was the right move. No either. I don't know why they put that in there. Why have him choke her? I guess showing he was never heir really in his mind. And then we'll convince him. This well, you always talked about. Yeah, we get to see it. A dragon going to Winterfell. Mm -hmm. I swear it. Well, the Osmonds are in. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Friggin Stark. Strong boys. Close to your age, then. Must be damn cool. Just, I don't know. Go get on your dragon. Oh, shit.
And it's not like they had, you know, weather reports. Yeah, they, could, they, good couldn't point. they couldn't check, you know, the local TV station. Damn, good point. <laughs> oh, hell, cat hole, get down. Psst. Get down, cat hole. Cool to see Storms in in this show. We never got to see it in Game of Thrones or obviously Robert's ancestors here. Oh, <laughs> hell. <laughs> Jesus. Oops. Yeah, you got beat there. Mm-hmm. He can't read. <laughs> One wolf said. <laughs> Put that sapphire in his eye hole. <laughs> this is not a good idea. I mean... Certainly, they know lightning happens. I think he probably would have stayed if. Oh, yeah, no doubt. He wouldn't have had to him give up an eye. Because <laughs> yeah. he was going to get his eye. Oh, yeah, he, for sure. Ain't no doubt. It's just a baby. Oh my God. Should have just stayed down there, though. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. shit. No. So he did that on his own. First blood. I mean, he had he had no shot, no, he had no chance. Vicera said it. Controlling his illusion. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh. It's own. It's own. It is own. There's no preview for next one. No. <laughs> so we can't what watch a the preview. Damn horrible way to go. I mean, I hope it was quick. Oh, wherever no. he bit. Or she bit. Golly, the size difference. That shot in the clouds was crazy. Yes. It was insane. And you knew it was coming. You just you were waiting on it, but still. Wow. But I got to say, though, like, I don't like this idea that it was an accident. Like, clearly they were saying, oh, know, they obey me. Yeah, yeah. You know, but like, what did you expect to happen? Exactly. When you chased him down, I mean, talking about obviously aiming here. Yeah. When you chased him down with the dragon. Yeah, saying you got a debt to pay. You, yeah. You, what do you... What do you think is going to happen? You're just going to cruise up beside him and get him take his eye out and give it to you. To right. Take back I mean, to your mom. Just, it was just trying to scare him. No, mm -hmm. you, you, you're talking about two dragons. And then, you know, they had it like Arax shot fire first at Vagar, and he was saying, no, obey, no. Like, yeah. he, didn't, he didn't command yeah. him to do it. Exactly. But, and then you heard Eamon saying that too about. About Vagar, no obey. Mm -hmm. Well, what the hell did you have? You had him chasing, had her chasing him down. So then yeah. they have the old shit look like you didn't mean to do it. I know. That was pitiful seeing those pieces falling. It was. I mean, a dragon dying too. The boy obviously, and then Man. you know, Damon gets word right there. And then uh, there's a shot in the trailer. If you seen the episode two trailer, no. You said so. It's out. Oh, um, good. A teaser, and there's a shot of her out in Storms Inn in that in in uh, Shipbreaker Bay, and I, we're assuming from the trailer that's what she's doing. Like the book is looking for his body. Okay, because it's actually never found. Okay, so there's of course theories that he survived. He landed in the water, and then he forgot it. He if he didn't know who he was, and you know, mm. in the living this life as some fisherman or something. There's all kinds of shit like that, but. Doesn't matter. He's he's gone. There goes uh, <laughs> there goes the air to Driftmark. So the first, I guess technically Beesbury was, but there's the first blood and yeah, the dance of the dragon. Yep, and uh, it's got her mind changed now a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, she was. Yeah, it's like uh, kind of like Danny vibes there, right? I mean. You know, you know what you're supposed to be doing is queen and this and that, and you have this uh, kind of uh, this image of the world, but it's not really like that. She's always been like that since she was a kid. But then when you lose something mm -hmm. like your child, or you know, in, in Danny's case, your best friend, and you've been sold and you know taken advantage of without saying it for YouTube and all that kind of stuff, then sh shit changes yeah. about the idea about a mad queen, right? Or whatever. So, pretty pretty heavy moment there. Yeah, no shit. The lines are drawn and the sides are clear. The cool thing is, is season two, like you said, we'll get to see Jaceris up in Winterfell and all oh. those stories of Sarah Snow. and Because um, he's about, because see, right now, remember, his son Cregan is about his age. So they're young. Yeah, that's what she was so, saying. That's cool. According to the, you know, if you believe the history of Fire and Blood, uh, they become close friends and can, can kind of connect with each other. We'll see what happens if they have that little side story about the Stark. So we get to see Winterfell in season two. At least for a while. I'd imagine it would be a good, I don't know, a couple episodes. I don't be know exciting. how that would. Yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't think it's going to be like one quick scene. I think it'll... Either we'll sh they'll show up throughout a couple of different episodes, you know, whatever. Because, um, you know, if there's a relationship there, uh, the, the other little side things they may bring in, like Sarah Snow, which we'll get into later. But because um, you know the Starks are not heavily involved in any war, but they do show up after. And there's a big important thing I won't spoil here, but um, I mean, kind of after this whole thing ends. But that'll be in the final, I guess, season. When I don't know if this is three or four seasons, I have no idea. But there it is, the beginning of Dance of the Dragons. And now I'm seeing little little hints of stuff, you know, and I can't say anything that I'm noticing watching it the second time, like I said before. Yeah. Um God, it's I could tell you right now, but I can't can't. They've do it. got one fewer dragon than Damon counted. Yeah. 
Damn. Yeah, and those are still small, little, just young dragons. Man. So that's a big storyline, too. Um, you saw Damon going there and singing. I don't, I don't know one. if they've ever clarified, because you got a dragon named the Cannibal and Bert, a couple of riderless dragons, like three, and they need riders. Mm-hmm. And they're out of Targaryens and Valorians to ride them right now. So you, what do you do then? So that's going to be a storyline. Um Probably some bastards hanging around. I would say Dragons. we saw one. We did see one in in King's Landing. So there's probably some on Dragonstone too. And you know what? Um, so there's some pretty famous dragon riders from that, from as they call them, Dragon Seeds. You know. Wow. So they'll, they'll those are some stories coming in season two. Wow. Uh, as a matter of fact, you remember me talking about when we did the end game stuff with mm-hmm. Jon Snow and the whole how it's going to end and our rewrite and stuff. Remember, I mentioned a guy named Adam, the only other person in the story to go to the God's Eye besides Talon Reed. Oh, he's yeah. in this story. Really? Yep. He not right yet, but he yeah. will be. I mean, uh, I'm assuming that's going to be a huge part of it. It's got to be. And that's what I was saying uh, about Sea Smoke. So. If it, it depends on what they do with Lanor, because in this show he survived, right? He shaved his head, yep. took off. Yep. Sea smoke's still there. Yeah. So do they break the lore, or do they have him like die off screen for real? So, so Adam can, Valerian can take Sea Smoke, or do they have him come back? Or could they? Repl- they could do that too. They could change it up completely. Which I'm fine with either, I guess. But if you're following, you know the mm-hmm. the lore and the history. <clears throat> so, so yeah, Damon I don't know. Was jealous, huh? That whole choking scene. Yeah, that was the that was a straight jealousy. I think it was. He too. did not know uh, what she was talking about, right? Yeah, because she's like he didn't tell. Yeah, no clue. So he was never told. Um, therefore, in his eyes, Viserys never really thought of him as heir. Yep, that's exactly that's the way he felt. Purely the way it was. I just didn't like it. I thought it was I didn't like it out either. of character a little bit. He is he can be a cocksucker, obviously, but he's not like that. I I I, I didn't think so either. I don't think it was necessary. And plus, he did it almost too early. Like, yeah. he didn't know what the hell that meant. So why would he be mad about it that was before wild. he found out what it meant? You know, that was. I wild. thought that was odd. When I thought that in season one, I said that in in the live stream after that episode. Like, at least let him understand what she just said. To, yeah. to, un, to to for him to get that mad, to choke her, mm-hmm. and I can understand if it was in that order, but it was it was odd. But and, and then again, you know, to be fair, if you like Damon, you'll you'll almost talk yourself into anything he does is fine. You know, and I think everybody does that for other characters too. Yeah, for whatever Aemon, character if you, you like, you like yeah. Aemon, but look what he just did, and you'll mm. you'll excuse it. Mm-hmm. And I've seen those arguments too, not arguments, but discussions online and stuff about it. It's true about every character. So if you like Rhaenyra, you'll excuse her stuff, and mm-hmm. if you like Alicent and whatever, you'll excuse, you know all oh, that goes for everybody to you some like degree. Otto. Yeah, <laughs> except fuck Otto. He's just straight up wrong in everything. He's a fucking cunt. <laughs> that felt like a lot shorter episode. Was I wrong? I, f- I felt like it was too short, especially to too. be a, a season finale. Right, I agree. I I couldn't. I didn't even look at the time. I closed the thing, but I thought that. Uh, no, I'll look. I'm, I'll look after. But yeah, I thought that felt short to me. Yeah. Well, I, one thing I didn't like was uh, Corliss's less than grand return. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, like we all knew that he'd been heal back and healing or something. It, they just didn't even talk about him returning. Yeah, uh, well, I think they mentioned uh, that was unclear too the way they put it. But he was not in Driftmark Hill, and he was uh, across the Narrow Sea somewhere or something, or or somewhere. Yeah, but in the, it was like everybody knew it. Yeah, and right. Because they didn't know he was. They knew he was alive, but th- like, I guess his condition was didn't maybe by Sarah said that one of those episodes his condition was too bad to sail. But like, no, where was he I, at? I don't remember that. I think I remember. You would that. have to find that man because the whole time I've been saying I hope he makes it, and hope he comes back, and all this yeah. stuff. Hope he's alive, you know. And then it's like all of a sudden, boom. But anyway, what do you think? 
Oh, man. Season finale, and I don't know how long they're going to go with this, but uh, it, it's it's got to at least be three seasons, if not four, maybe five. They could maybe squeeze five out of it. I would I would say now looking back at it, if I did have to critique it, mm-hmm. if there was not going to be anything important happen after the stillbirth, they drug they took too much time in the season finale. Yeah, with her struggling and all yeah. that. Like if it had some kind of bigger purpose or meaning or something, I, I agree. I they think to put more cool shit in there. I think it was um, the hell of a scene. Don't get me wrong. Oh, absolutely. But you know, I think you're right. I think it was just kind of more. You know, you got that right from the get go. Right in, in the first couple of episodes when uh, Ama gave birth, they they really pushing that that medieval childbirth thing, and mm-hmm. it's not because there was there was some. I don't want to say arguments online about stuff like that, about whether it should be in there or just uh, it, they want to show the reality of, of how horrible birth is and that, this and that. But, you know, if you look at the numbers and stuff, it wasn't that bad as far as like deaths and stuff. Um, I mean, as far as women dying in childbirth, like people think it was. Right. Know? But yeah, I think they're kind of pushing that a little too much almost. Cause that was, like you said, it was uh, not completely necessary just to drag that out, but, yeah, and show those flashes. I mean, yeah. if they were going to, and maybe they will. Yeah, the may, right. Season. Maybe there's a follow up or something. I mean, not that I know of, though, as far as the story goes yeah. that I can, can remember. But, but yeah, I mean, they want to show the brutality and be, I guess, uh, of everything. But, I mean, we know that, you know. Yeah. It's, we, we all, if, if you're a father, you know this mm-hmm. already. We don't, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's ever denied the brutality of childbirth. But there was, you know, in the first, um, in the tournament scene when they had the flash. I mean, I like the way they did that. I did but, too. But to compare it to a battlefield, and, and again, that was a tournament. But I think that's a little, I don't know, it's a little odd. But I did, I like the idea of it, how they yeah. switched between them. And and I got to say, again, her acting was just amazing. Oh, yeah. It was very convincing. You know, sometimes you'll be watching a show. And, oh, yeah. And yeah. you're like. Okay, you know, but no, that that was convincing. Yeah, no, I agree. Emma Darcy, she's she's good. Uh, Ezra Renera. But that's the thing when you go into these shows, like after you know, f- as a book reader, right? You you go into Game of Thrones, and most people watch the show before they ever read books because it it sold more books than anything. Just like right now, you know, I mean, copies of Shogun are being sold right now on Amazon and everywhere else. Oh, it's wow. absolutely insane. I'm sure. But after you've read a book and then you see a show, you're always wondering how you're gonna, if, how it's gonna match the picture in your head, yeah, you know, type of thing. So I had, or you know, but that's what I mean. When I first uh, started seeing teasers and photos or whatever before this came out, I just wasn't sold on on Matt Smith being Damon. I mm-hmm. thought he looked odd. He and does look. Odd. He does still look odd. It but, grows on you. But though. he but he plays Damon. The way I picture Damon when I read about Damon, <laughs> so he does he grows on you. But anyway, I, I don't think I'd ever seen Emma Darcy in, in anything before this. But we'll see. We we know it's uh, we'll see what happens in, in season two in I guess June again. That's not confirmed yet, but we'll see where they open up. Uh, there's gonna be uh, some big battles. Um, Hopefully we see that side story later on, the God's Eye. That might be a little later, uh, I'd imagine. But, uh, yeah, God, there's so much I want to say, but I just can't say it because I see the little hints of it. It's cool they're talking about, uh, she's talking about the, you know, the White Walkers and stuff, uh, that whole threat from the North or whatever. Yeah. Uh, that's exciting, man, to know that. You know, that long ago they were still right. And back. now the cool thing is with that is if they do this Aegon show, which I'm sure they will, because this is so popular. Why not go back another, you know, mm-hmm. two two hundred years or so, or whatever, to the beginning, Aegon the Conqueror. But somebody's got to step up big to play that role. That's yeah, gonna be yeah. that's a big fucking role to feel. But yeah, if they go with that, then you're gonna see the beginning of all this. You know, yeah. they'll probably do flashbacks of Danny's the Dreamer. Uh, back in Valyria, 
and then the family coming over, and then to present day or whatever, and then him having this dream or whatever, and, and starting this whole thing, and he'll have that same dagger. We'll see that same dagger, I'm sure. So that's cool how they're linking it all up. I just, you know, he goes back to God, though. You know, it all lasted, what, one night at Winterfell? Oh, shit. And uh, it just it really ended up being Danny and two Targaryens helping out, but I guess it was necessary. But <laughs> anyway, we won't get we won't go we won't oh, get on that road dude. again. <laughs> Cause Game of Thrones, it is it, look, it is what it is. It's still probably the greatest show of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all in all, if you take away a few things here and there, I just didn't. Cause I mean, you know, looking back, you know, Danny was going to do that, but it was like like everybody said, it was just so rushed. It felt it felt rushed. Yeah, it was. And some things were odd, but. Anyway, good? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's outstanding. And uh yeah, so we'll, I have to show you the uh, I have to show you the teaser then for season two now. Yeah, man. You know, we can watch the teaser now. Oh, something I was gonna say, uh I said it oh yeah, what I said earlier. I was gonna say it on camera. Remember Helena? Yes. All her little scenes. May or may not contain some kind of information. And, yeah, and I, I thought they were just throwaway scenes. Yeah, yeah, and you did. And so you heard what she said: the the beast beneath the boards. That yes. last episode. All right, and it kind of ties in. That I, I won't say what's going to happen. Um, obviously, I don't want to spoil anything. This is a it'll be a big thing. Um, but it would relate to that. And I'll I could say the names of the people without you really knowing anything, but I, I'll just leave it at that. Because that's mm. uh. It's directly related to what we just saw in some way. And that's all I'll say. But what we just what saw. is I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go too far and end up spoiling something. But it's a it's another shocker is coming, and I'm sure that will be. Um, oh, but you're just saying you know this from the books. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a big connection here to what we just saw, and I'm sure that will be probably. I would guess the first half of the season this thing will happen in season two. Okay. Just based off the timeline they're going with. But yeah. So anyway, she she has uh um seemingly prophetic statements. And I don't know if they ever clarify dreams or if she's just yeah. pulling it out of her ass at the moment. Pretty wild. But there was some hints to that though. There was some hints to that. We saw with Viserys too, as a matter of fact. Well, what is a beast? What is a beast beneath the board? Hmm? We saw a couple hints around those beasts. Hmm. Anyway, any uh, any other? <laughs> I know I got you thinking now, hmm. and I'm I just don't want to say too much because I'll end up saying too much. Any other questions, comments, concerns? No, no, I need to absorb that. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it happened fast. It did. And it was a it was a trip. Um, we only got to see Otto this time. Yeah, the same exact. I didn't even think about that before the repeat of that exact scene, almost exactly. Really? You know, Damon walks down, he walks up, dragon flies over same way and lands in the same spot, only a little bigger this time. And she gets off and walks in between. This time, she's with Damon, not trying to get an egg from him. Yes, and I I loved her taking his hand pin. Yeah, throwing, throwing it. it over the damn bridge. Yeah. Fucking traitor. He is. I mean, it's just blatant cunnery. Yeah, <laughs> I just yeah, made, that's the I word is that a word? Not cunnery, but cunt <laughs> yeah. was in my head. Yeah, that's I what I mean, cuntery. Yep. Yeah, that's a word now. I just, I just uh, I'm down with it because that's what it is. <laughs> blatant cuntery. Cat, get off of there. This damn cat here pressing buttons. Damn sure he is. Get off. Oh, my God. He... And Riddick's downstairs. Cat-o. All right, well, let's get out of here, and then we'll go to overtime real quick and wrap it up And before our cat damn cuts our damn mics off or some Hell shit. yeah. All right, well, we good? 73 in the books. That's right. Number 73. 74 next week, and I don't know where it's going to be yet. We'll see. Maybe we go back to uh, – we've, we've been talking about a few ideas for mm-hmm. potential. We need to get somebody on here, too. But uh, we'll figure it out. That's it. All righty. Well, we'll get out of here and get these cats off our fucking equipment and let it uh, fade to black.